Emily Stone. And I'm Megan Scholar. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Revolution. revolution. So don't let them steal your life Don't let them break your stride There's light on the other side And you'll see all the rain clouds falling through your soul revolution And we'll make it out of It's a revolution Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Revolution. If you remember from the previous episode, we mentioned a few of the new teachers that came into the school. And we were lucky enough to interview them. And here they are. Uh, my name is Mrs. Bruce, and I teach biology here at Clinton High, and I teach environmental science as well. So far, Clinton has been amazing. I feel that it has such a diverse body of students here, and I really feel part of a family. To tell you the truth, it had everything to do with how I felt when I walked into the building. Um, I went to Clark University, and I also spent some time at Brown University with a consortium group. The first day of school, everyone has, you know, a little bit of nerves, but once you get into the swing of things, it was great. My name is Keith Papecki. I teach World History, U.S. History 1, and U.S. History 2. I graduated from Clinton High School in 1991. I loved it. Um, I loved the atmosphere. I loved the attitude of the small town Clinton. Uh, couldn't wait to get out of Clinton. And then as soon as I got out, couldn't wait to get back in. It definitely helped me. It allowed me to learn the layout of the building, uh, the staff. But more importantly, it allowed me to start building relationships with the students before they were actually officially my students. My first day was very nerve-wracking. I had been in front of students a lot as a substitute. I had taught adults for 14 years in computers. But none of that was my dream. This was my dream, so it was a very nerve-wracking first day. The business world was fun. It was a lot of hard work, long hours. It just, I never woke up any morning loving what I did. Never hated it, but I never woke up loving what I did like I have in the last month and a half. I had been in the business world for over 20 years. I was much more comfortable in that world. It's more of a structured world. And you have to learn how to do a small handful of things that you then do repetitively. Whereas in the school system, at least this first year, every single day is the first time on that chapter. Yeah, after I graduated college and realized I had just spent four years in college studying something I didn't want to study. And that's when I realized back around 1995 that this was my dream. It's awesome. Uh, it's been a dream come true. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And uh, loving it so far. Welcome Mrs. Bruce and Ms. Prupecki to the Clinton High family. Speaking of the Clinton High family, didn't you guys in field talk you just have your blue night? Yeah, we did. Oh, I missed it. What happened? It's a good thing you asked, because that's what's coming up next. Last Monday night, the Lady Gales changed colors in their annual benefit field hockey game. The team has held a pink night for over seven years to raise money for breast cancer and women in Clinton suffering from this disease. However, instead of a pink night, the field hockey team held a blue night game in remembrance of Casey O'Malley, who passed away from mesothelioma this past July. Casey graduated from Clinton High School in 2000. She played field hockey alongside with the Gales varsity coach, Ms. Kaiser. Before the game, a brief ceremony was held honoring Casey. The blue shirts worn by both the middle school and varsity high school team were generously donated by the Booster Club, and fans also purchased shirts to contribute as well. By the end of the evening, over $1,300 was raised from selling baked goods and blue night shirts, along with many generous donations. The Lady Gales played against Maynard Tigers, and both teams came close to the scoring many times, but the goalies along with their defense put up a tough fight. The Gales scored within the last two minutes of the game with a goal by Alexis Blaisdell and an assist from Kira Bijou. The field hockey team is now up to four wins and four losses, only needing six more wins to make it to districts. 
Thank you to everyone who came and for making Blue Knight a game to remember. One, two, three, KC! Thank you, Lady Gales, for donating to such a good cause. And congratulations on your win. And now, let's take a look at the other sports. In the second home game, the Gales lost to the Hudson Hawks 20-8. After the long bus ride to Quabbin, the Gales roll over the Panthers, holding them to their fewest points in two years, 28-14. After another long bus ride this past Friday, the Gales came out with a 20-7 win against the Tingsboro Tigers after a dominating ground performance led by senior fullback Aiden Flaherty. The Gales met Narganset again at home with a tough 4-1 win here where Chris Heisenrow scored once, Osman Ramirez twice, and Jason Chenard one more making it 4-1. The team faced Leicester with a crushing 5-1 loss where Colin Grady scored the first goal. Clinton then demolished Murdoch again with a 5-1 game. Christian Matias scored his first ever goal in their third home game. The Gales overcame the tough Fitchburg team with a score of 3-0 to zero, where Colin Grady scored all three. The Clinton Gales strive for league champions and districts. They are currently on top of the league with a record of seven wins and four losses. In versus Worcester South at Clinton. Win 3-0. to zero. Regan Gannon, Alyssa Hatch, Lizzie Cermak scored to send the host Gales past the Colonels. Alyssa LeBlanc made 10 saves to earn the shutout. Monday, September 25th versus West Boylston at West Boylston, tie 2-2. Two to two. Riley, Riley Meacham scored and assisted on a goal by Mia Hool for the visiting Gales. Okay. Wednesday, September 27th versus Nargisette at Clinton, loss 4-2. Friday, September 29th versus Tejanto at Tejanto, loss 9-1. Monday, October 2nd versus Murdoch at Clinton, win 8-1. Riley Meacham, Ashley Noisk. And his Zoltani each scored twice to boost the Gales. Friday, October 6th versus Southbridge at Southbridge was a win, 5-2. Freshman Riley Meacham scored twice and had two assists, while classmate H Mia Hool had added two goals, and sophomore Ashley Nosk also scored to propel the Fizzing Gales. Tuesday, October 10th versus Tejanto at Clinton is a loss, 8-1. Sophia Marino scored Four goals, Mackenzie Heron added two to lead the Stags. Regan Gannon scored in the first half for the host Gales. Monday, September 25th, the Gilead Gales were up against Worcester South and won 4-2. Hope Mackey had three goals and Kiara Bijou had three assists to lead the Gales. Thursday, September 28th, the Lady Gales competed against Naren Gansett and lost 1-0. Gansett scor scored in the first half to lift the visiting Warriors past the Gales. On Friday, September 29th, the Lady Gales were at Leicester and lost 4-0, while Riley Scanlon made 10 saves for Clinton. The Gales had a game Monday, October 2nd against Maynard and won 1-0. Alexis Blaisdale scored off a pass to Hope Mackey as the Gales edged the Tigers. The Gales headed off to Tejanto Wednesday, October 4th and lost 3-1. Hope Mackey tallied for the Gales. Friday, October 6th, the Lady Gales were up against Murdoch and tied 1-1. Nice job on all the victories, guys. Oh, would you look at the time. The show's almost over. Time to wrap things up. I'm Emily Stone. And I'm Megan Scollard. And this has been The Revolution. The Revolution. She's a good girl. Loves her mama. Loves Jesus. In America too She's a good girl She's crazy about Elvis Loves horses And her boyfriend too And it's a long day Living in Reseda There's a freeway Running through the and I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her I'm a bad boy For breaking her heart